This is the mean value theorem. Rawr! Rawr! It's, yeah. Oh, man. What the mean value theorem states is if we are differentiable on an open interval and continuous on a closed interval, basically saying we don't need to be differentiable at the endpoints, we just need to be continuous there, then we get this, the average rate of change being the same as our derivative. So we can see our derivative down here. There's our tangent line. Um, and then the secant line, which is the average rate of change, shows up right here. And those two lines are parallel. Our average rate of change matches up with our instantaneous rate of change. There's potentially even another spot like over here that's also parallel to the secant line that is also tangent there. So we get a multiple Cs, but we're guaranteed at least one. Let's try this thing out. So we will need to state whether or not this function satisfies the mean value theorem. So we need to be continuous on the closed and differentiable on the open. Um, this is just a cubed root function. Yeah, it's getting squared, but that's not going to cause us any issues in terms of continuity. We don't get like zeros in the denominator and stuff like that. So it is definitely continuous on our interval of zero to one. However, if we check its differentiability, we find its derivative, we can look right here and say, hey, if we put a zero into there, f is not going to be differentiable at zero. However, we are okay. For the mean value theorem, we only need to be differentiable on the open interval. So yes, we're not differentiable at zero, but in terms of the mean value theorem, it's okay that we're not differentiable there. We need to be continuous at zero, but it's okay if just at that very end, we are not differentiable. So for part A, yes, we do satisfy the mean value theorem. So what we want to do now is we want to find each value of C where the instantaneous rate of change is equal to the average rate of change. So first thing I got to know is, what's the average rate of change? Um, so that's a matter of putting our two endpoints in of 1 minus F of 0 over 1 minus 0, trying to figure out what our average rate of change is from 0 to 1. The calculations are very exciting. It's one. So our average rate of change on that interval is one. We want to see when that derivative equals our average rate of change, when the instant rate of change equals our average rate of change. So our two thirds cubed root of x, what values of c, in fact, actually, I'm even going to put in that c. What is that c value where we equal our average rate of change? little bit of solving. I'm going to multiply both sides by the cube root of C just to get that out of the denominator. So we got two thirds equals the cube root of C. And then all I got to do is just cube both sides. And then I know what C is. So I get 8 27 equals C. So at the X value of 8 27 the average rate of change equals our instantaneous rate of change. Average rate of change from 0 to 1 equals the instant rate of change at the x value of 8 27 Thing to remember about that mean value theorem is you got to make sure that it meets its requirements. This one we're checking to see if it meets the hypothesis. The, the hypoth this one we're seeing if it meets the hypothesis. Is this a continuous function? Yeah, it is totally continuous. We got no problem with absolute value, except at that corner point. If we think about the graph of absolute value, it'd be something like this, you know, one to the right. And so it's between zero and four. Right here, we're not differentiable. And that is not on the end of that interval. So that's right smack in the middle of that interval. So our mean value theorem does not apply. There's a corner point at x equals 1, so f of x is not differentiable at that point. f of x must be differentiable on the entire interval of 0 to 4. If it was just right at the end, so if this had been 1 to 4, then we would have been okay because it's right on the edge and so we can make it work. However, if it is in the middle of that interval, our mean value theorem doesn't apply, so we aren't guaranteed that C value, 
where the instant rate of change equals the average rate of change. In fact, there is no C value for this one. That's pretty much it for the mean value theorem. It just as long as we are differentiable on our open interval and continuous on our closed, there exists some point where our instantaneous rate of change, the slope of this tangent line, is equal to our average rate of change, the slope of that secant line, um, which is pretty cool, okay? It's not that mean, not that mean at all. Thanks for watching. Thank and hope you took good notes, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You're, you're trying to bite me. Don't bite me. Don't do it. I know you want to. Don't do it. Don't bite me. Okay, fine. Here, I'll throw, I'll throw a mouse for you. Look, it's a mouse. Look at this mouse.